Let's start the day uh, with a couple of chair confirmation questions, so predicting the more stable structure. Um, so, let's do that. Which um, conformational isomer is more stable in the chair form of this particular structure? So we have uh, the methyl groups in the one, two, three, five positions, okay? So um, if this is difficult for you, uh, one good thing to do is to label the positions of the atoms so you'll know that the methyl groups are in those one, three, five positions. And then what you can do is just draw your chair structure. If you really want to, you can even draw the chair flip. Okay, so now we're going to compare the two the two isomers here, two conformational isomers. When we put the one, three, and the five in their respective positions as methyl groups. Okay, so what I like to do is always label this position as one. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, so the one, the three, and the five are going to have methyl groups on it. And if this is pointed towards us, I'll usually put it up. So like that. And I guess we'll put the CH3 on there. You don't necessarily have to. And then the 2 position has nothing on it, the 3 position has a methyl group on it, but this time it's pointed down. So remember, up on the chair structure is straight up, okay, from the point where it's up. So down is not straight down, but in this case, to the left there. And then we'll put our methyl group. So you can see we've got one axial, one equatorial already, methyl group. And then four, five. So this one is also down. Up is there, axial. So this one has to be equatorial. Okay, so now we want to count the number of axial to equatorials we got. So here we've got one axial to equatorial. Okay, let's do the same analysis over here. So remember when we do the chair flip, okay, the one position now comes down here because you're kind of flipping that envelope down like that. So we've got the one there, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember when we do the uh, chair flip, it goes from axial to equatorial. So here we've got the axial. This one's going to be equatorial, like that. Methyl, two, three. Remember axial to equatorial. This one's equatorial, so it's going to go to axial. Axial on the bottom is down, like that. Long bond. And then four, five. So equatorial up here, axial here. Then we ask ourselves, how many axials do we have? Well, one, two. How many equatorials? One. So remember, axials are less stable than equatorials. So this one is the less stable structure. This one's the more stable structure. So if we wanted to write our equilibrium arrow, be like that. And I think it said what's the most stable structure, so we'll do that one. We'll do a couple more of these. I'm sure you guys will get them pretty soon. I think the hardest thing is to draw the flip the flipped st structure. So the actual ring of the flip, actually. Unless you're left-handed, then it's easy.